Stick, Mountain Mike's, the official pizza of the San Francisco 49ers. When it comes to preventing large, destructive wildfires here in California, time is of the essence. The sooner firefighters are called out, the more likely it is they're able to keep a fire from growing in size. And that's why one San Francisco-based tech company called Chooch AI is hoping to use artificial intelligence and satellite imagery to give crews early notice about wildfires. Joining us now to talk more about this AI tool is Emra Gultikin, the CEO of Chooch Intelligence. Uh, right now, as we appreciate you coming in, right now there's this delay that we talk about between the time a fire may start out in the forest somewhere and, and the time that it's reported to authorities. And you're trying to, to uh, lessen that gap in there. How, how is artificial intelligence going to help? Exactly. That's, that's the main problem today is the, uh, the delay and the gap between the time uh, a, a wildfire starts and by the time it's, people are responding to it. So basically what we're doing is uh, we're looking at satellite imagery uh, in full motion uh, in real time and uh, every 10 minutes we're inspecting every acre of uh, of forestry in, in, in California, which is about 30 million acres. Uh, so humanly impossible to do because you would need thousands of people 24-7 mm -hmm. looking at every acre. Uh, so what we're doing is we're training the AI to be an expert in that field and having that deployed. And, and the AI technology is looking for heat, for smoke, both? Exactly, heat, smoke, so th there, are different, there are different sensors. And then what happens if the technology picks up on something? It sends an alert to the authorities. To who? To, to, to immediately. The authorities, to the authorities, and then a but human. But would, would you know an agency like Cal Fire, let's just say here in California, right. would they they would have to sign up for this program or be using this technology already to get Exa those alerts? Exactly. It would it would be it would be an email alert or a, or, or a SMS message alert to the uh, to a human, and a human would look at it in more detail, and then it would they would either dispatch people uh, to that area or it would say this is a false. Uh, false uh, alarm, uh, but it, what it does is it, it creates uh, it, uh, it, it creates a uh, call to action uh, for a human to look at in more detail. How much time do you think you can you can uh, save firefighters? I mean, how much quicker do you think you can get them to the scene of a wildfire using technology like this? It, almost immediately. Uh, so if you can, if we're able to look at. Uh, forestry every 10 minutes mm -hmm. uh, that means that we will be able to detect these fires in the very very early stages so when it's a small uh, bushfire we'll detect it and then people will be able to go there and the first responders will be able to put it out extinguish it or do whatever is necessary uh, very very early in, the, in, in that in that process okay and the AI technology also can can pick up on potentially power lines that might be too close to trees or vegetation, which, you know, obviously, as we know, has caused many destructive fires here in California. How, how, how do you pick up on that, on that the power yeah. lines close to vegetation? Right. So basically what we're doing is we're cloning uh, human expertise uh, into uh, a machine. So it doesn't matter what it is. It's, if it's a wildfire, uh, we, would, we would train the AI to be an expert in that field. If it's power lines or it's vegetation, we would train the AI to be an expert in that field. So whatever uh, a human can do, uh, the AI can do even better because you're able to scale it. Okay, so do you have state agencies uh, like CAL FIRE on board with using this technology and how long until it's implemented? Yeah, so we're talking with CAL FIRE, we're talking to DIU, we're talking to other agencies which are responsible uh, to uh, f respond to these types of things. And also, uh, we're, what we're doing is uh, we're uh, implementing this uh, on, on, a, on a massive scale. So we will be able to uh, put this into production next fire season, hopefully, uh, with the, with the uh, support of all these different agencies. Okay, so this time yeah. next fall, potentially, right. we'll have artificial intelligence uh, at work as well. One of, the, one of the many tools out there to try to right. detect these wildfires early on, which, as we know, is so important. Yeah. All right, we appreciate you coming in to explain all of this. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Emra, uh, Emra Gultikin, CEO of Chooch Technologies. You, really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks. Heather? Thank you, gentlemen.